Everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Starbound. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but today seemed kinda odd. I am here at nighttime, and that's what worries me. How many coal do I have? 14? We're gonna convert that, like, entirely into torches. So we're gonna make 14 torches, which is actually gonna make 28 torches. Uh, and now we have 34 left here. So, um, we're gonna explore. I'm really excited for this episode, because exploration is, is very much... Uh, my favorite part of, uh, of what happens in Starbound, uh, and there's a lot of magical things that do happen in Starbound, so that doesn't really go without, um, me giving it some heady praise here. And I'm hoping I actually see that, like, things are getting a little bit more visible. It looks like the sun may indeed be rising, so I might actually just head back to the, uh, house for just a second here. We got 18 cacti there, which is awesome. But I really like, uh, ex Ooh, be careful here. I really like experiencing, like, all the new, uh... Environments and kind of like block types that we can discover and obviously there's not an infinite number of those eventually We're gonna see many that we've seen before that being said, you know, let's pick up some cacti here, man Let's pick up some wood uh, Let's uh, go see if we can find ourselves Some beautiful uh, man-made structures that are happening here. So basically this episode. I'm not gonna focus too much on um, Mining resources basically at all Except for getting some extra wood here, because, you know, I did just use, like, 200 to build our house. But I'm going to focus primarily on um, seeing if there's any man-made structures and kind of getting a feel for the, uh, you know, flora and fauna of our environment here. So I just smacked you across the face, and we'll continue moving on. And the fact that it's daytime, a whoa fighter of the nighttime is very nice. Are you guys mad? No, we're cool. Then If you're cool, then I'm cool. And look at this. We've already gotten a piece of equipment that we can... Excuse me? That went away very quickly. Uh, I think we've gotten a piece of, uh, you know, scenery that we can decorate our uh, new apartment with. Okay, I don't know if that actually ended up in my inventory. It appears not. That's a little frightening. Oh well, maybe we'll find another one in the future. So, let's take out our face smasher weapon. Much easier to do it this way. We get free pixels, basically. I know that they're friendly, and a certain subset of people out there are going to be like, Don't hurt the cute frogs! Well, I apologize, because... Uh, it is a very easy way for me to get some money, uh, and money that may end up being, uh, indeed very important to me for producing, uh, lots of stuff in the future, but, uh, for now, we're just gonna keep moving on in this general direction here. If there's anything useful on this planet, we're gonna come across it, and it might take us a few minutes of walking here, but we're also getting introduced to all the, uh, the marvels of the planet around us. That's coal, I think? It might be iron, but... Oh, there, there's a lot of coal in this area, so I'm gonna mine this out as well, in addition to the iron. Oh, that's a legendary monster! Okay. Apologies for just sounding like totally Nintendo 64, but as a result of this, we have just picked up Sharp Ear Stabber. Is that it right there? That's p Pathetic Wobbler. Crappy Rubbish. There we go. Sharp Ear Stabber. Pretty bad. It only does 12 damage uh, DPS relative to our uh, hammer, which is like 84 or something like that. It's just really strong. In fact, I, I really probably should not be on a threat level 1 planet, considering my weapon is this strong, but it seemed like uh, everything in our general vicinity was threat level 1. It was either this or... Uh, it was either this arid planet or go to, like, a snow planet, so... So be it. I understand there's two more coal back there. No big deal, though. Let's continue making our way onwards here. So far, so good. Uh, haven't encountered any heavy resistance at all. We only have five bandages, so I am a little worried about, uh, you know, the possibility of us encountering some real assholes, but... As long as we are... Ooh, this is new. These guys look mad. They are mad, but they're also easy to kill. What is this, like, little fruit that we got going on here? A bone boo and a bone and a new blueprint available. What's the blueprint? It's weird. Bone boo. Mmm, crumbly. I have no idea what that's going to do for us. Um, let's try chopping down one of these, like, big purple veiny trees. That didn't necessarily come out the way I wanted it to. And we'll see uh, what resource we get from it. So it's unrefined wood, not cacti. Cacti seem to be, like, the same as unrefined wood, but I actually don't know uh, if that is uh, indeed the way things go. What do we have going on in here? That healed me, I think. So I'm just gonna put one torch down, and I think this is a, a staggering amount of coal. So, you know, picking up coal, you know, if I find one... Oh, this is tar. Is that... Or is it tar and coal ore? I think it's coal ore in addition to tar. Tar is like the sand that we're around here. Okay. But, you know, like, basically what I'm getting at is, like, picking up one coal ore, if you just find it, maybe a waste of time. Passing on 20 is really stupid, but... Uh, if we could pick up, you know, a ton of it here, I would be very thrilled because then we could fly to another planet as well. There's a couple planets in this, um, star system, so maybe if I start making some, uh, snow gear, I would be absolutely okay, uh, with investigating that snow planet. But right now, it seems like Tar is an awesome place to find coal. That is my, the information that I will put in my journal after today is over. 
Uh, that and why does uh, Becky Snyder hate me? All I wanted was to love her forever. This is my sixth grade journal, of course. I don't think I actually went to school with anyone named Becky Snyder. If so, Becky, call me. Um, I don't know what this water is. Didn't hurt us, though, so that's pretty nice. Of the water to not be total asshole-ish. Um, let's crack this open with our dagger here. I don't even know why I made this dagger if I'm just going to consistently not use it, but sure. Um, rather than unrefined wood, why don't I take some of this purple dirt? Per purple? I don't know. There's, there's a joke somewhere in there that I'm missing, but uh, it's fine. Maybe we'll call it Pert Plus from now on. That was probably the worst placement of blocks that I've ever seen in my Starbound career. But anyway, we do the jump around, and there's a little bit more coal here, so I will absolutely pick that up. Coal actually proving, at least in the, the short term here, to be more valuable than iron because I desperately need it in order to propel my ship. Tar is super hard to see into. Um, which makes it, I guess it's not tar, it's like tar juice or something, which is super gross. Um, but anyway, cool, there's some more iron around as well. That's something that I'll probably want to pick up, but, uh, don't necessarily need it right away. Uh, is that bird angry at me? If he is, he's gotta, like, check himself before he wrecks himself, because he's gonna find himself in a difficult place. I'm just gonna pick up this iron, and then we'll leave, I promise! I'm, I'm trying to explore as much as possible. I would rather not do it at night, because we'll have to struggle with, you know, the possibility of starving, or not starving to death, but freezing to death. But there's a lot of coal in here, and again, coal is uh, basically spaceman fuel, so I, I can't leave without picking that up. That would be a foolish decision for me, I think, so we'll take all this. Again, a little peckish. Might as well eat one of our steaks. we still got eight left. Pretty good. Uh, and we'll continue making our way down here. I haven't really encountered anything remarkable so far. Sometimes it can be a, a long walk if you're... Trying to find something uh, incredible, but hopefully it ends up being worth it. Now it is possible, you know, you you can completely uh, circumnavigate the the planets in Starbound, so it's uh, beyond possible. In fact, it's it's inevitable that if I just keep walking in the same direction here, and I've done it, uh, that I will eventually loop around and will you know get back to that little makeshift house that we made, which may actually be faster than actually walking back at this point. But let's be honest. Uh, we're not gonna walk back at this point. In fact, the only thing that we would really do at this point if we wanted to get back to our house was just beam up to the ship and then beam back down to the house because our, our beaming location doesn't change. Again, if there's any way to change that, uh, let me know. I'm recording all these episodes in like one big batch because the wipe is potentially coming later today, so I'd like to get some content done. Um, but I, I will figure that out. I'm sure people will, will yell at me, particularly on Twitter, yell at me, and I'll um, hopefully be able to remember it. These buzzards are not angry at me, which is awesome. Uh, I should really, like, erect some kind of, um, yes, I know it's a funny word. I should really try to e erect some kind of, uh, like, structure to let me know when I'm circumnavigated. Oh, wait, I guess I already did. That would just be my house, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, the, no point in doing it now, I guess. What the fuck, laser beams? Seriously? Okay. At first, I thought we were gonna all be friends on this planet, but then I saw that you have a tongue that's made out of pure lightning. Um, so, you know, being friends is not gonna be as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, that was a big miss. Don't fuck this one up. Oh, that was a hell of a shot there. Katniss Everdeen. Okay. Uh, we're going to take more coal because, again, coal is fuel. Fuel is life. We can get to a new planet. Maybe a planet with a threat level that is a little bit greater than the threat level that we're on right now. Maybe it has rewards that are proportional to that threat level. Because as of right now, you know, I haven't encountered anything too scary. But I also haven't encountered anything worth necessarily writing home about. So, um, we're just going to keep moving on to the right here. Make no mistake, if we don't find anything, we'll be getting off this planet as soon as possible. At least we're getting enough coal to, uh, you know, finance the trip home. And we can... I wish there was a way to, like, have a journal and mark planets in your journal as being, like, dog shit. Because as of right now... Oh, I didn't mean to eat that bandage. No big deal, I guess. But as of right now, this this planet is firmly in uh, dog shit territory. Stone pickaxe. Not that exciting. I, there's a little bit of coal here, but not very much. And I actually see that we have, like, not quite circumnavigated yet. Apparently, that's the word of the day. Um, but I see that we are... Is this a dead end, to some extent? Um, we're getting pretty close to being into the... What the f... There's an alien there? Okay, I gotta go back and see that. Of course, I'm gonna eat my words, like, as soon as I was about to say, like, we're getting close to the house that we created. Turns out, though, it probably would have been a better decision to just go left at the start. Oh, well, though. Right? Now, that alien might be friendly. I guess we'll find out. Oh, beautiful... Bounty of coal and iron. Fall on your near knees. Hear the angel voices. What is this? Current corn. Okay. Uh, what do you got for me, lady? You got a sweet little house here. I see that part. Green fingers say, glitch our kin from another bin. That is cute. 
Sorry about that, but um, again, to the victor go the spoils. <laughs> All right, so we got our we got a bed here and a house. Um, if this is the only man-made structure on this land, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. But I'm pretty sure we're actually close to making it back to our uh, starting house. And that house was cute, but it was too quaint for me. I want a I want a mansion. That was I, I almost feel bad there because she's like, hey stranger, cold and unforgiven universe out there, ain't it? Oh God, what are you doing? Anyway, um, we're just gonna. Mine our we'll mine slash build our way up here. Obviously, we're getting kind of close to freeze to death territory. I'm not sure if I've walked over the course of the entire planet so far, but definitely, um, you know that that skeleton was something that we had seen in the background. Maybe there's a couple of them though. Because I have iron armor, these guys are mad. Um, because I have iron armor, at least some iron armor, I think I'm actually a little bit more well protected from the elements than. Uh, I might otherwise be, so I would love to have my like flashlight out at the same time as I'm doing this, but just to provide some light, but I don't think it's really possible, unfortunately. So we'll keep our flashlight out until enemies show up, and then I'll just, um... This isn't our house, this is another- oh my god, you're really gonna make me do this to all these people? Let's open the door. What do you got to say for yourself? Happy days! Monday, Tuesday, happy days! What did I get there? Medical kit. That seems really useful. A med kit for when you absolutely 100% positively have to be healthy. Okay. So, we found another shelter here, but um, so be it. We're going to let the, the sands of time ravage that. And we're going to make our way uh, onwards throughout this world. And I got to say, as of right now, I'm a little bit disappointed with this world. Mind you. You mad? No. Mind you, uh, I am become death, destroyer of worlds. I basically am just walking into these areas and being like, hey, um... Remember your house? Well, now you don't because you, I shattered your brain. They are mad and they are spitting acid at me, but that's okay. Um, I see a lot of coal up here. We actually probably will take an opportunity to mine there, and it's actually a good opportunity to get our temperature gauge up as well. Um, oh! Okay. So, let's put this down here. Good. So this will give us an opportunity to not only get a ton of coal, but also increase our temperature. And, you know, again, I apologize for meandering a little bit, but this is Starbound. This is, you know... That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to discover some stuff. Mind you, uh, if, if, if this is the only way to discover, like, sweet structures, at least as, as far as I know, um, if we had found, like, some kind of awesome laboratory or something like that with some technology, you'd be saying, hey, that was a good choice. Congratulations. And I would say, thank you. Uh, let's be friends, because you're nice. Uh, we got two steaks here. Uh, oh, they're not cooked. Okay. Put that on the pile, I guess. And uh, 341 pixels. That is a lot. A lot of those. Uh, what do we have in our capsule here? Not a whole lot. So if you're keeping track at home and you, you saw the latitude and longitude coordinates of this planet, um, don't come here. <laughs> don't come here unless you just want to murder people because uh, that's that's basically the only value that I got out of this place. These guys mad? They're not mad. Ooh, okay, this is weird. This is like a statue or something. What do you got to say? All right, I guess we'll just break it. Cool. We got a Florin statue. I will put that in my house. It's kind of like Ernest Scared Stupid, you know, the, the Ernest film. I noticed I didn't call it a movie because it, it deserves wider praise than that. Um, but um, the Ernest film where uh, that troll, like, turns children into tiny little statues. That's basically what I've done. I've killed the, the people, subjugated them, and then uh, turned their very life force into a trinket for my own amusement. In the meantime, though, we continue our nocturnal exploration of uh, World's Worst Planet population me and not too many other people anymore apparently this is where the Florins put down roots <laughs> you know very clever but um yeah not anymore and we got to be getting close now we passed like three of those skeletons I would love to encounter just like one laboratory houses are fine sure but oh there's another skeleton I wonder if that's gonna be the one that is um that's our skeleton. We'll see, anyway. Probably should pick up some more wood or something like that. These guys strike me as being a little bit angry. Ah, oh, that one actually did hit me, but it didn't do very much damage. So far, the, oh, oh god, what have I done? Don't keep falling. <laughs> it almost turned, uh, my narrative turned into like an Alicia Keys song or something there. I don't know any Alicia Keys songs in order to make a, a joke out of that, but I know Fallen, that's it. I was gonna say like, oh, like that Alicia Keys song, no other one. That might be the Weezer, I don't know. Um, seriously? Like, I've been walking all day and all night. If I was Judas Priest, I would have a fever right now. There we go. We managed to kill him. What? What was that? Did I step on something? I probably stepped on something. Okay. Bandages again. 
And uh, the flashlight continues onwards. I hope we don't encounter Slender Man. Oh no! That. These things. They don't really scare me, but I think, like, their poison phlegm is annoying. Anyway, we'll just cut these dudes up. I can't believe that he took three hits to kill, even though they were with the kind of weaker projectiles. Temperature has looked better. There, there have been times when I've been in a better position than right now, but we'll uh, heat up real quickly with this. So yeah, iron armor makes it way easier to kind of survive at night. We didn't even get back to full temperature there, but that should be okay. Seriously, please. The, the thing is, like, okay, you might be saying like, oh, if you want to get back to your house, why don't you just like beam back up to your ship? But I don't want to do that because uh, may, there might be like a sweet man-made structure or a pre-made structure somewhere in the environment here, and I don't want to miss it. If, you know, it's like Aerosmith. Even when I dream of you, the sweeter dreams just never do. I still miss you, baby, and I don't want to miss a thing. Right now, I'm missing these beautiful pre-made structures. But I, I don't want to miss them. I want them to be here. So there's like our fourth parallax scrolling enormous skeleton in the background. Uh, I wish there was a way to like put beacons down or something like that. There, there might be, but I haven't encountered it yet. Certainly. Um, temperature's looking fine, and I don't think that's going to change too much. We did encounter a unique monster on this level, and you know, or on this world, and that's fine, but it's not really that big of a deal. Um, these, I, I'm always amazed. You'd think birds are the friends of the people. They're not the friends of the people. Ross, Joey, Chandler, Monica, Phoebe, and Rachel are the friends of the people. Uh, the birds are the enemies of the populace at large. I'm going to die here. The birds are going to kill me. If not the other elements. Um, okay, we'll just bandage up a little bit. Uh, and we're almost out of bandages, so it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to pick up more, um, more plant vines, but I haven't actually seen very many of those. I'm going to stand next to this fire for a second. We did encounter another treasure chest. Thank you for saving me from the monotony that we are discovering here. And, um, sure, I'm relatively well off now, I guess, from a temper- Ah, oh, Jesus! The freaking Squirtle Squad is angry as hell! I thought you were the same as the other things that were not so mad. Five coal. Where is our other coal? It's in here somewhere. 200 and oh my god, we got 241 coal on this level. That is awesome. This is a cave. Um, sure, I guess, you know, I'll mine my way through the dirt, and this gives me a convenient excuse to be uh, warmed up just a little bit. So, I I'm navigating basically by the stars right now. My circumnavigation of this planet has not turned out very well for me so far. I think that much is, is a given. There's corn. I can start a farm. I had time in this episode to start a fucking family, basically. Oh, there's another. She's asleep. I can't do this, can I? Yeah, like, I totally can. I'm real sorry about that. I got a burger! A juicy hamburger. That is a tasty burger. Of course we're going to eat that right away. All right, so we're... I'm full. I didn't even need to eat that. That was just to assert my dominance again. Um, all right, well, the the hunt for Red October continues here. This is an extraordinarily large planet. Normally, it doesn't take this long to actually make your way uh, across it. it. Or across most planets, I think, at least. Or maybe it's just because I'm zoning out in the background as I do it. Um, I don't know what we got in the capsule there. It looks like pixels. We've walked for, like, almost an entire day and an entire night. This is like some, uh... You know, Voyage to the Far Lands shit, like some Kurt J-Max stuff going on here. It's actually, yep, it's daytime again. So that's one full day of traversal. I didn't start going in the opposite direction at some point, did I? If so, I'm a big dummy head, but that's fine. There's Tar. I, we've encountered Tar before. I recall it. At the very least, maybe we'll finish our circumnavigation here. And this episode is like the 11th episode of any standard uh, television series. Uh, there's television season, I should say. It is... Um, absolutely worthless. Inevitably, somebody is going to point out uh, some amazing uh, episode 11 from some TV show. They'll be like, oh, the most important episode of The Wire happened in episode 11. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you uh, out there. I was just making a joke. I'm going to be making a, a couple of them over the course of this, you know, endeavor that I'm futilely trying to accomplish here. Um, all right, we got some stuff going, and we'll climb up and around, and etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Should be able to hopefully find like a house or something like that. Otherwise, um, what am I doing with my life? I'm, I'm getting a lot of coal, that's what I'm doing. 
And I'm almost at the point where I'm like giving up and I'm like, you know what, this planet's shit. We'll just fly to another one and, and finish uh, this episode. But it's midday and midday is the best time to be moving around, right? In my opinion. Midday in the desert. My favorite Sting song as well. I always thought it was crazy how Sting used to be a police officer and then he, they became a musician. Did you guys know that? That's what I was, yeah, his first band, The Police. I'm like, wow, they, they did really well for a, not, you know, classically trained musicians. I am completely out of, um, I'm completely out of bandages. That's quite nasty. Um, I'm just gonna keep going, I guess. Uh, journey to the Far Lands, join me. We find a number of purple veiny trees. What a, just a devoid of, of any value, except for the senseless murder of a peaceful people. Now this is, <laughs> at least, you know, we, we've done our part. Uh, we're, we're cartographers. We've, we've cartographed, <laughs> drawn a map of this, uh, of this world as we've seen it. I'm getting some bones as well. Uh, isn't that cute? That's like a heart there, or like a really scary clown face that looks like a bone. <laughs> Of course, as we reach like basically the end of this episode, there is a, what did you drop? What did you drop? Circuit board. I am never gonna be able to use that effectively. But um, we've discovered some robots and robots usually mean pre-made structures. Hey, hey, just die, thank you. Oh my God, there actually is like a building over here with a jerk in it. Um, and what, what's going on underneath us here? Totally a laboratory. Oh, this is awesome, okay. Open the door. That didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. What do you got for me? Badass Chop Stabber. That is a great name for anything. Two-handed, 47 DPS is pretty good. And this looks a lot like, oh my god, really? This looks a lot like the kind of area we were at earlier. Like, you know, the, the area with the USCM stuff. In fact, it looks like basically a carbon copy of it, unfortunately. But I guess I'll check it out. As always, thanks for watching. This is going to end it for this episode. We'll do the exploration on the next episode. I'm just going to make a bed here, which I think is going to require a crafting table. So we'll make one of those quickly. Uh, and then I will do the exploration here, because at the very least, remember, this is where we got our awesome weapon last time. So, you know, it kind of sucks that uh, we're ending the episode here, and we're going to do something that looks pretty similar to something that we've done before. But this is still... Uh, I think something that is a good I'd wed, uh, a, a good idea for us to do, just to see if there's something amazing. I can't type, apparently. Wooden bed. Okay, so we're going to rest in this. Again, if you enjoyed the episode, I uh, hope that you will click the like button. It does show your support, and it means a great deal to the success of the series. The success that you, or the success that the series has so far, entirely owed to that, by the way. Of course, if you want to see more Daily Starbound, as always, make sure to click subscribe and get those notifications sent directly to your YouTube homepage every single day. As always, thanks for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you next time.